So last night I got inspired. My brain said, hey, make this. So I did. And then this morning, I put a couple screws in this. This is all stainless steel. It's two pieces, one piece there, one piece here. It's just folded together. And, uh, yeah. So it has two screws holding it in place. And then I filled it with spray foam. And that's why this tape is here to keep the spray foam from squirting out the bottom. I'll take that off, obviously. So this should make it more streamlined. So I should be able to go faster. And I should be able to go faster without it getting bubbles down to the propeller too. And I also made it so I can put the motor a little lower in the water than I could yesterday when I was testing it two days ago, whatever it was. Uh, oh, so this, uh, this top metal piece looked like this originally. I made a paper one uh, first. And then these two pieces fold over to give nice edges. And then this folds over. And then this folds over to, to hold all that together. And the bottom piece uh, comes up and then has little flanges that overlap over here. So they get all squished in under there. And then where this is bolted on, they get squished in under there too. So the bottom piece is just held in by squishing. Oh no, wait. Those screws go through it too, through some of the flanges, like right, right about here. Whatever. I put it together in the dark last night, so I didn't really get a, any video of it. And just now I mounted this guy on the ceiling. Ooh, isn't that clever? So this is, uh, this had screw holes in it. Instead of putting screws, I just stuck rivets in them and uh, you know, put something in the way so the rivet, rivets wouldn't go all the way down. And then this is just a piece of plastic that is the right width to fit snugly between the rivets. So if I go like, oops, like so, it just slides right on there. It's pretty good. Then I can drive without worrying about this falling in the water. So now I'm just waiting for the spray foam to cure before I take it for a test. That's still squishy on there. Oh, see how this sticks out in front of the thing where the water's going to hit? That'll make it so it's harder to suck bubbles in. Because, like, what happens up here is the water hits and spreads apart, and then back here you get an air pocket, right? But up here, the water's going to hit, and even if it does spread apart a little, it won't be able to suck any air through the metal, so it should help the water to stick to the metal the whole way through and not give any bubbles to the propeller. At least that's what my brain tells me. Oh, look what I found! It's the right voltage range too. I just tested this on my uh, power here and then compared it to the readout I get with that. On that I was getting 52.7, this I was getting about 52.3, so close enough. This works. I don't know where to put it. It'd be nice if it was like right here, however all these switches are in the way. I don't want to get in the way of switches. Charge control is right there. I guess this could go in front of it, but what if I need to... I don't know. I'll have to think about this. All right, I'm back in my boat. I got my thingy hooked up here. The motor's back here, connected with the the streamline elizer that I made down there and I mounted the motor about that much lower in the water than it was so hopefully it won't suck any bubbles and I'll just be able to drive for real because the other day you know it was sucking bubbles and I couldn't really just go so all right let's see everything's on So far so good, but we'll see when it get up to speed if it starts sucking bubbles. Oh man, that works great! <laughs> Here, let's take a look. Yeah man, that looks good. Yeah, it's not sucking any air into there at all now. Oh, this is excellent. All right, pedal power. Let's see how fast you can get going. Man, 
This boat hasn't gone this fast. I don't know, probably ever. And this is still on low power on this thing. I'm pretty sure I could give it some more juice and it's still not gonna suck any bubbles because it's not. Yeah, it's having no problems at all right now. Oh, that is great. I don't wanna give it more juice right now though. Cause I wanna let the batteries charge. Uh, if the sun was out, higher I could definitely do it just with solar panels but once again I was out digging all day and uh, I think it's about 5 30 now so the sun's pretty low although I'm still getting decent speed just on solar panels see let's look at it while it's kind of lower powered Man, that is looking excellent. That stream streamlinealizer debubbleizer works really well. I know. Sorry, I'm gonna try to block the mic from the wind. I know sometimes people think it's kind of silly that I put in all these switches and make the whole system a little more complicated instead of just running everything through the batteries. However, I thoroughly enjoy being able to set this to just solar panels for to the motor and still have two solar panels charging the batteries so I know I'm still charging and I'm, and I'm going like basically for free so I didn't have that set up I wouldn't I wouldn't know if I was dipping into the batteries or just using you know available power that's coming in this way I know I'm charging and I'm going Well, that couldn't have gone much better. Well, I mean, if there were naked ladies on the spaceship involved, but fine. It went very well. So the, the stainless steel piece I made at the bottom to prevent bubbles from getting into the propeller, you probably wouldn't need that on a normal boat. Because normally, you know, you've got a single hull boat, and then at the back of the boat, you attach your motor, and the propeller and everything is right at, right at the back of the boat, so as the water is coming through, the boat smooths out the water. Now, <laughs> now in my boat, I've got two pontoons and the motor just hanging out, not near anything else. So if there are waves, that means I get a rising and lowering uh, water level at the propeller. So that's why it was very beneficial to do that. Well, I've got a young child coming to attack me. Um, yeah,